what it do it's your boy J Lou and you are just in time for something new all right now in today's video what we're gonna be talking about as the title already says the most luxurious do-rag on the market you know what I'm saying so I don't want to waste any more time let's get straight into the video can't stop won't stop <laughs> all right now when it comes to these do-rags Y'all gotta give your boy a chance just to breathe, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> man, when I first heard about these do-rags, I was like, man, I don't know what to really think about them, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. I made the Truth About Silky Do-rags video, which I make sure I link right above here. Y'all already know the details behind that. And one of the representatives from the company ended up reaching out to me on that video. Now, me personally, I don't like it when businesses advertise on my videos especially if i don't know who they are so i reached out to the company and what happened after that was just simply a blessing from god you know because at the end of the day the people that make these do-rags they go by the name of sassy swag designs you know what i'm saying and we was able to chop it up and then they explained to me about their their, their products and they said you know what well we'll send you a do-rag for free on us she blah, blah 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 and that's how i got introduced to that company now the first thing off top let me take this bad boy off right quick now, the reason why I say these are the most luxurious do-rags on the market is because on the outside, as you guys can see, these are the Velvet do-rags. I know a lot of people have been asking me my thoughts on in regards to Velvet do-rags. I may make a separate video in the future because I know I need to do one over the Bow Wow do-rags. But when it comes to Sassy Swag Design Durex, she sent me this bad boy right here, the first one, and I advertised it on my IG. Now, the thing that separates these Durex from other Durex on the market, not only is the material, the velvet, uh, the crushed velvet material and everything like that, but they also offer insignias or basically you can get your name stitched in there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if y'all can see that, but that basically says the Dawn, you know what I'm saying? But then on the inside of the do-rag, it comes with different material. Now, I was informed that the material on the inside is a silk material. Let me see if I can get out the camera and see if y'all can see that. It's reversible. This side is bald eagle. But this is actually a silk material. Now, from my video about the truth about do-rags, they reached out, they wanted to prove me wrong. And at the end of the day, I'm not arrogant like that to where I won't admit if I was wrong about something, whatever, you know? So uh, when it came to this do-rag, I've been testing this bad boy out for a very long time. The one thing I want to point out is these bad boys get very hot, you know what I'm saying? Because of the fact that the material on top of it is very thick. But with that being said, that's not a bad thing. I'm gonna get into a little bit more details about that a little bit later. Now, when you look at the strings, the strings are very long when it comes to these bad boys. You know what I'm saying? But you can basically fling them up like that. <laughs> But the craftsmanship is definitely there. Now, the thing about the stitching here, they hand make every single thing with themselves, you know? So they're a small business. And one thing that y'all know about my channel is I love highlighting small businesses because a lot of time these small businesses don't have the funds or they don't always have the resources necessary to be able to advertise the way that they do. And with my channel, I like to use my platform as a way to be able to give exposure to companies that really deserve it, you know? So with that being said, when you take a look at the stitching, as you can see, the stitching on this is very very tight you know so not only does the material look very luxurious but the stitching is very very tight in regards to the seams as you can see the seam is very very small as well so whenever you put this around your forehead it's not going to give you that deep dig impression from a do-rag especially with the flaps as you guys can see in regards to these flaps right here it's about two and a half inches thick and or, or wider or however you want to describe it you know so you basically spread the flaps out but when it comes to these do-rags, just the purpose of them and using them, you can use these do-rags when you go to sleep at nighttime. The, the thing to keep in mind is, for me, I like sleeping in AC. So I turn my AC all the way up. And if I have a do-rag like this on top of my head, it definitely helps keep my body warm. You know, But one thing that you will notice is, because the material is very thick, I'm not gonna take my ears from underneath this, simply because of the fact that uh, whenever I'm tying this up, it's just thick all the way around, you know? so. It could be a good thing or it can be a bad thing depending on how you use it. For me, people that are in colder climates, they're gonna love these do-rags because it takes away that negative stigma that do-rags typically have because of how they look. They just simply look like royalty when it comes to rocking a do-rag like this. 
versus rocking a regular black polyester do-rag, you know? So off top, you wouldn't be tripping about wearing this do-rag out in public, but at the same time, it'll give you that added warmth effect to your hair. And I also made a video in regards to the reason why I uh, rock my do-rags the way that I do. I typically put a stocking cap on top of it. With these bad boys, I'm not gonna do that because even though I won't get a line from the seam right here on this do-rag, because uh, of this stitching right here on top of it, if I put a stocking cap on top, you guys probably can see right here, the seam is very tall. So if I put a stocking cap and compress that down, it's basically gonna dig into my hair and it'll give me that line effect, you know? But the good thing is the way that you tie these bad boys will help take away the need for putting a, a stocking cap on top of it, you know? Now, I rock a stocking cap on top only because I don't rely on my do-rag to give me compression, but because the material is actually silk, these are the only 100% silk do-rags that I stand behind when it comes to the market only because I've been able to test them out for a very long time. I actually got to speak with the creators and they were able to break everything down. I like to develop relationships with people, find out the ins and the outs and things like that, and then give their product the best exposure that it can be. And due to that, they look out for your boy J. Lou as well because they sent me two of these bad boys. Now with this one, y'all probably wondering why in the heck do you have two green do-rags? Underneath this one, this has the, 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 the silverish silk material, but I told the owner of Sassy Swag Designs that my favorite color is green and she sent me two green do-rags. Now, what makes this one different than the one I just showed y'all? I'm gonna get into that. And this is really what separates this company from other do-rag companies and the main reason why I say this is the most luxurious do-rag. So let's get into it. So when I take this joint off right here, as you guys can see, I'm gonna just give y'all that little unveil right there. One of the reasons why I don't put a stocking cap on is because as you can see, with me rocking this do-rag a little bit just like that, it leaves an indention into my head. Now, that'll go away just within a, in a small time frame, but that's one reason why I really don't like tying my do-rags up, especially with these. That are, that's the only thing about these do-rags that I don't like. But other than that, when you take a look at the inside material, like I told you guys, these do-rags are 100% silk. When you see that and you see how shiny that material is, you will clearly see why I say these are the most luxurious looking do-rags because I've never seen a do-rag on the market with this kind of appeal. And this to me, honestly, is what separates them from other companies that claim to have silky do-rags. Those other companies that try to say that they have silky do-rags, man, they don't have these unique designs that are being able to use a material that is a silk fabric to, to basically uh, come up with, with creative designs. The only way you can come up with these designs is by having real silk. Because I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you take a closer look, uh, that is actually, this, this is all stitching. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, that's crazy. Now, off top, people are gonna be saying, all right, Jay Lou, those do-rags look amazing, blah, 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 but how much do they cost? How much is a do-rag like that gonna, gonna run me? That's the most craziest part because with how these do-rags look, because they give you that insulation uh, effect and all that stuff like that, when you take it off your head, let me show you guys my waves right quick. As you guys can see, my waves are laid down, you know what I'm saying? It also gives me my hair that shiny effect because I hair typically mimics whatever material uh, is, is connected to it, you know? So uh, as soon as you unrag from, from using these do-rags, your hair will look very, very silky and shiny, you know what I'm saying? So of course somebody will say, And how much is gonna this bad boy gonna run me? I believe the way it's said online is that the price includes the embroidery of your name. So you'll be looking to spend somewhere between $26 and 50 cents total, I believe. And then on top of that, you would have to pay shipping as well, which would bring the total somewhere between 30 to $33. There are other do-rags on the market that are being sold that way, but when it comes to the material, it's not the same material, it's not the same quality, and it's not 100% real silk because like I said, this, this design right here is unique. Only your boy J. Lou gonna have this design. Nobody else gonna have it. Rare, very hard to find, and I happen to have unless they rock in a bonnet you know what i'm saying because they also make bonnets they make pillowcases they make all kinds of stuff and i'm gonna make sure i put a link down in the description below of, of where you can find their products and things of that nature i actually because they sent me two do-rags i actually plan on buying two pillowcases from them you know so with that being said they are a very small company but the thing i like about small companies are they're very humble you know what i'm saying i've always enjoyed being able to speak with the owner they they're always able to break down in regards as to how to use the products and everything like that because when I first got these do-rags at first I was rocking them to where I put it on my head just like this right so I literally drag it up to my head just like that and then I was trying to tie them 
regularly like this. And because of that, if I if I kept the durag just like this, one thing that you guys will see is it gave me like that cone head effect. But like I said, because they are a small business, they're approachable and everything like that, and they're willing to give people great customer service. One thing that the owner was able to explain to me was that I simply, the way that the durags are made is that they're made to be able to fold up. You know, so you basically pull it down as much as you can. And then when you get it down to the, the, the low part, you simply fold it up the same width and the thickness as the strings like this as such. So you wanna pull it up just like that. You go around your head. Y'all already know, I try to keep my do-rag strings tied just to help speed the process up. Pull it around just like this. And I'm not gonna fix it all the way, but you just pull down on the back like that, pull down on the sides, and it gets rid of that whole cone head effect on top of my head, you know, so. The one thing I want to point out is, as you guys can see, that whole cone head effect is gone now, you know, so you're going to get compression in your crown area. The one thing that you may notice, though, is because they are taking two different materials, the velvet material with the silk material, there may be some of an air pocket in, in, in regards to the material when you, when you try to tie it. So you really do have to make sure you pull it on all sides just to try to get rid of any voids in between the two materials. But other than that, when it comes to these do-rags, in my personal opinion, like I said, they are the most luxurious do-rags in the market. I really want to give a big salute and a special shout out to Sassy Swag Designs. I'm going to make sure I put their Instagrams down below as well. If you guys want to follow them, make sure you do because they always show love to the Wave game. But like I said, they don't only make do-rags. They make a whole bunch of other stuff. So fellas, when you're going in there to buy something and you got a girl, I think it'd be a dope idea if you and your girl would be able to get a matching bonnet as well as a matching do-rag, you know what I'm saying? With y'all personal name stitched on top of them. That could be a birthday gift, that could be something for Valentine's Day, that could be a Christmas gift, that could be anything like that, you know? But with that being said, hopefully this video answered all your questions. If you have any other comments, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. I'll try to make sure I respond back to as many people as possible. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share this bad boy if you want to. And it's your boy, Jay Lou. I hope you guys have a great day. Salute! And my first year in college, I was told I wouldn't make it. Fell so bad, my scholarships, they tried to take it. Yeah. Friends to my foes, yep, all I heard them say. How in the world did you get a 1.6 GPA? You should consider dropping out or at least switch your major. The odds of graduating now are not in your favor.